Hey, this is Class Creatives. Dead Space's latest trailer has the game looking better than ever visually, but will it satisfy the hunger of diehard fans wanting a new chapter into the Dead Space saga? In this video, we'll discuss how the new remake of Dead Space produces animations in the all but familiar remaster process, resurrecting classic games for next gen consoles. I'll stick around. I'm full of bad ideas. In this video, we'll discuss the process of remastering a game that was created more than 10 years ago using hardware from two previous console generations. We'll look at motion capture stage footage to see how retaining the core of the original character movements while updating the animation allows both new players and ardent fans to relive the franchise's biggest moments on the latest hardware. Dana, okay, I'm back. Did you say six months? Gunner Wright is returning to voice Isaac, meaning we'll finally see him properly interact with key characters. Stick around. I'm full of bad ideas. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling, utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The full AAA animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Remastering games has become a trend for studios lately, and we have seen remasters of Game of the Year classics like The Last of Us, which similarly to the Dead Space remake was originally released for PS3 and was remastered for the PS5. New facial animations and additional polish to the original mocap breathe new life into the experience. It's a great way for not only new audiences to experience the classics, but it also gives artists who work on the remasters an opportunity to work on original assets that they admired early on in their careers that may not have been given the chance to touch on. Comparing the PS3 assets side by side with the PS5, you can clearly see the visual fidelity improvements, and it will be very exciting to see Isaac reimagined with the latest hardware and game industry software improvements developed over the past decade since we last saw him in the original. Now let's take a look at some of the assets from the original Dead Space from 2008 and some of the concept art utilized for the updated versions. New details and callouts are necessary for character artists to sculpt the fine details necessary for today's AAA quality standards. Huge advancements have been made in sculpting characters and textures since 2008. In the past, models from software like 3ds Max may have sufficed, but in today's modern era, ZBrush is the software of choice for high fidelity in game and cinematic AAA titles. Paying close attention to fine details such as sculpting the inside of the helmet is necessary for moments when the character's helmet is removed. Technological advancements in surface details and ray trace shadows are also critical in today's game assets and we'll be able to experience Isaac in a whole new light with these updated detailed sculpts. For the slasher enemy, concept art was also utilized very closely to maintain that of the original while visual improvements were added. Comparing the original 3D assets to the new concept art, we can see that the mood of the character is maintained with a more modern updated twist. The more interesting and innovative design aspect to the enemies is how they are dismembered during gameplay. It took extensive concepts and planning to enable and allow the enemies to explode and expose their insides when taking damage. Additionally, distinct callouts were planned and created so that each body part could be sculpted independently. We now may get to see when the body parts are blown away, tiny bits of flesh, bones, and entrails to make the kills all that more satisfying. On today's next gen hardware, we'll have an incredible experience that was just not conceivable on previous system hardware or in game development studios 10 years ago. This thorough planning demonstrates just how meticulously the remix characters are being developed. The enemies are also receiving the royal upgraded treatment in ZBrush, and they are looking more gruesome and horrifying than ever. Extra details in the limbs and extremities are being finely crafted with extreme fidelity. The enemies have been completely built from the skeleton all the way up to the skin. All the fat, the sinew, is completely built, layer by layer. So as you're destroying them, you see dangling bits and all that nasty horror stuff. Blood, visual effects, guts, and pus coming out. All to really enhance everything. This game is an atrocity. And your mom's gonna hate it. Why would they even make something like this. Let's examine the process used to produce a typical complex cinematic for today's AAA game development. Prior to motion capture stage performances, storyboards and live action shots are utilized to determine acting options and camera staging positions. 
In this example, the planning is being done with an apartment as many animators are now working remotely outside of the company's facilities. Motion capture actors carry out the final movements on the motion capture stage after the director approves the planning stages. Since one of the characters will be based on a creature, the actor will hold custom-made props to convey more accurate weight shifts in the body, which will add realism to the finished product and save the animator time as they clean up the motion capture data. It's often common practice for the director to watch how the performer's motions will look on rough 3D character assets as they are being captured on the motion capture stage. This makes it easier to ensure that the movements are readable on the assets so that the animator can clean them up for the final cinematic shot. Once the data has been captured and loaded onto the 3D assets, the animators will clean up contact points, give character movements more weight, and make sure that little nuances are added to the performance in order to represent the director's vision for the final sequence. A typical workflow for this is to utilize Motion Builder for the stage actor motion capture, then clean up the finer details and facial movements in Autodesk Maya. For example, to pull off the complex mesh change in this particular shot, the character would be swapped frame by frame to convey a seamless transformation, something that would need to be done by hand by the animator. Dead Space's creator Glenn Schofield had a unique set of parameters in mind for the original Dead Space that differs from the new remaster. All big moments are gonna be interactive, interactive moments. There are no cutscenes in the game. So we're trying to tell the story through video logs, but also what Isaac does. Keeping this in mind, let's compare how this looks to the user during gameplay. In the original Dead Space, we watch helplessly as some amusing moments unfold behind a glass window, while maintaining full control over Isaac's movements. This has been changed in the new remaster to a complex cinematic sequence in which Isaac is not within our control. Unfortunately, Glenn Schofield, the original creator, was not involved in the new remaster, which explains why the current version has changed from the original so drastically. Some diehard fans may prefer the previous gameplay and interactivity of the original. What do you think? Do you favor the original idea behind the glass, or was this cinematic alteration beneficial for the remaster? Additionally, the combat system has been completely reimagined to make it more brutal and visceral, with Isaac Clarke able to literally peel skin from bone with the plasma cutter before engaging in a little strategic dismemberment. The dismembered body parts will also be able to be used as projectiles. The peeling system will replicate layered flesh, tendons, and bones that break, tear, and shatter in shocking new ways. This should make killing necromorphs even more satisfying than ever before, and add to the realism of today's modern day standards for enemy kills. The Dead Space remake developer is EA Motive. The studio was founded by Electronic Arts in 2015, initially focusing its attention on the Star Wars universe. The animation on the Dead Space franchise utilizes a nice mix of motion capture and keyframe animation. A lot of the close interactions on Necromorph combat required keyframe creature animation to convey the proper weight and believability that can be difficult to convey with strictly motion capture. When comparing some of the original in-game cutscenes to the new remaster, we can see completely new animations have been created with some different staging for possible dramatic effect. Here the slit in the throat is on full display to the user, whereas in the original, some technical limitations may have prevented the shot from being created 10 years ago, as we see it in the remaster. This gives us an idea of some of the big updates that were done to enhance the original content. Talking cutscenes and other cinematic storytelling shots, motion capture is utilized for humans as well as cameras. Having a Steadicam feel to the shots gives a more realistic, cinematic feel keeping the user engaged and locked in like that of a movie shot on film. A critical consideration for remasters is to maintain as much of the skeletal proportions so that movements can still be utilized overall, but updated for next-gen hardware and artistic workflows. With the upcoming Dead Space remake, EA has set out to reimagine a classic. A senior producer stated that a key goal at EA Motive was to honor the legacy of the original game while pushing for key advancements. The core foundations will remain the same, however, they are making several enhancements to the experience to make it enticing for both new players and returning ones. As a result, the Dead Space remake will be expanded and enhanced. In the first installment, Isaac never speaks, but in the remake, Dev stated he will only talk when he's being talked to maintaining the feeling of deep space isolation, confirming he's never going to break the feel of the original game immersion. This means that all the amazing keyframe animation on the creatures mixed with the motion capture elements will aim to maintain the magic we experienced previously. 
Creators stated that there will be some bridges between Dead Space and the sequel. They made a conscious effort to improve on some of the connections that have been established since the release of the original. I think it's me. Creators are being very tight-lipped about the character Nicole in the new remaster who is more active in Dead Space 2, but they stated she will bring some new character twists and changes. Here we can see an example of the rough motion capture data compared to the final cleanup process from Dead Space 2. We can expect some similar workflows applied to the newly created assets with technological advancements made over the past 10 years to create more realistic character situations we have grown accustomed to with next-gen console production. What are your thoughts on the new Dead Space remake and classic IPs getting these revamped remakes? EA has yet to comment on whether the Dead Space remake could lead to a full series revival. Well that about does it for this video installment. Will you be playing on release day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What? And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.